Hello Sagittarius, thank you for being here. This is a general reading for Sagittarius Sun, Moon and Rising for September 2020. These messages are guided by spirit but may not reflect your current circumstances. So check your birth chart for other prominent placements and watch those videos. There may be something for you. For a personal reading or to purchase any of my Oracle decks, the link to Etsy is down below. And a quick housekeeping item, uh, my Spiritual Journey Oracles will be finally available mid-month. Okay, so before we get into those, um, I, got, I got some really um, interesting energies from, from you. Um, when I was meditating, they showed me a spyglass and, and then I got that you're planning your future and you're waiting on the arrival of something. So I don't know what that is. The spyglass would maybe appear like you're waiting on, you know, a person or you're looking at a situation more closely. Um, it could be a package, it could be anything, but I, I, I got that you're waiting and you're watching, like you're, you're planning something. So um, I also got the energy of you being just full of ideas and inspiration. Like I've, I felt almost like a crown chakra opening, just this, this, um, I don't know, this, this consciousness, this, this need to, um, to, to dive deeply into, you know, spirituality even. I know that, you know, not all of you are spiritual, so bear with me, but um, interesting. And then I got a really old song in my head and for those of you who have watched my videos for a while know that every once in a while I get a song <laughs> and this one is na na hey hey kiss him goodbye and I I don't know the band um, my apologies it came out in 69 um, so you know for some of you this is um, you know you're planning your future around relationship um, anyway, that, that might be just random for somebody. Maybe somebody watching absolutely loves that song or it's meaningful to you in some way. So they showed me. So, you know, take it or leave it. So let's see what we've got here. I pulled five. Catalyst. Something or someone is on your path to redirect you and it may be uncomfortable. Hmm. Okay. Balancing, you have experienced upheaval or change and need to regain equilibrium. Okay. Um, maybe this is why you're planning your future and you're, you're gathering ideas and being inspired to do something because something has redirected you. Something has put you uh, perhaps on a new path. You're, you're now kind of, you know, getting your footing before you move forward. Pivot point. You are at a fork in the road where an important decision may have a substantial impact. Okay, making choices. If I choose this, this happens. If I choose this. Okay, so it's kind of big stuff. I'm, I'm, I am getting like, if you're planning your future, I feel like that, you know, what you're planning now, the changes you make now, maybe change the whole trajectory of your future. Wow, find your truth. Perhaps you have been misguided by falsehoods. Now is the time to gain better understanding. I don't know why I just got living a lie. So I, I don't know if this is you or if I'm picking up on someone in your environment. But I, I feel like this is someone who's been living in the dark. I really feel that. And, and there is, um, yeah, there's some sort of, of, of seeking and finding going on. Live your soul's purpose. What doesn't serve your highest purpose must fade away. Wow. So for some of you, this pivot may pivot you, you know, out of a work situation, out of a relationship. Um, and again, energy is, is you or, or them. If, I, if you are connected with someone who's going through this sort of um, pivot, let's call it, maybe, maybe I'm picking up their energy and that's pretty strong. Maybe what someone else is going through then influences you. Maybe, um, you know, maybe you are part of their, their tribe and they're finding their way to you. Maybe the catalyst is you. Oh, this is going to be good. Let's see where we go with this. Wow. 
Okay, Sagittarius, let's find out what is most significant for you in the month of September. What significant energies are at play for Sagittarius, please? September 2020. Dare I ask anything else? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Bottom of the deck, here and now. Living for today. You can't change the past. You can't predict the future. So I, I feel like you're, you're in an energy of, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is an evaluation. This is a really, this is a big evaluation. And I don't know if this is you or somebody you're connected with going through this, but I can see here that um, this energy is about addressing where you've been and where you want to be. Okay. We have round and round. You and someone else might have, you know, been in this place before. This is the hamster wheel. This is lessons coming up again and again, things repeating themselves. And I, I feel like, you know, maybe that also could be part of this catalyst energy. You know, things come up so that they can be addressed, right? Um, so you're planning your future. We have building blocks. So, uh, or if it's not you, it's your person. I feel like there is some sort of a foundation for the future energy coming through here. This could be about career. It could be about work and money. Um, oftentimes they do go hand in hand in my readings, but uh, you know, I was distinctly getting, you're, you're kind of inspired for the future. Focused on happiness. What makes you happy? You hold the key. soulmates. I love that card. This feels, um, it feels like, you know, a tribe is coming together. That's kind of what I'm getting. Regeneration, the chance to do something again. This is what I call spring after winter. It's beginning again. It's, it's a rebirth. So it can be a rebirth in the, in your connection. It can be someone who is, you know, very, uh, influential on your path, someone you're meant to meet who completely changes um, your life even. Wow. Okay. So let's look at the energies around you, Sagittarius. Strongest energies around you in September. Strongest energies around Sagittarius, please. Anything else? Bottom of the deck, Wisdom, the Hierophant. He's been showing up a lot. It's almost like people are, are really, oh wow, yeah. <laughs> people are, are really reviewing their life. I, I, I don't know if it is, you know, some strong influence. I, I, I know that there's um, a huge Saturnian influence going on right now, but I just, I feel like, you know, um, the past and lessons and, and heavy things are really coming up to be, um, let's call it dealt with, um, reviewed. And maybe, maybe when that happens, this finding your truth energy, it's about, it, 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 it puts you or, you know, someone on a new path. We have the magician awareness, and I'm drawn to the, the fact that his crown is just blowing up. And I was picking up that, that very, you know, that consciousness, that inspirational sort of energy. And, and I also feel like this is about, you know, manifesting your dreams. This is a very powerful energy. It's making it happen. So if this isn't you, somebody in your space is, is you know, really, um, I feel, you know, very powerful this month. We have truth. Interesting. This is the judgment card. We have find your truth. We have truth here. For some reason, I feel like it's about big decisions that are based on truth. So, you know, if there has been a falsehood or, or some sort of misguided kind of um, energy around you or, or someone in your life, I feel like it's, you know, it's almost like this is your aha moment. New beginnings, the fool. Yep, you're planning your future. 
You are full of ideas. You are speaking your truth. You're finding your truth. I'm going to speak as if, as if this is you. Reverse it if it makes sense. Okay? So let's take a look at... Well, actually, you know what? I want to pull this deck out for some reason. Butterfly Oracles for Life Changes. What has shifted for Sagittarius? What has shifted? Anything else? I know this kind of gets specific, but I kind of felt drawn to pull this. Bottom of the deck, you are stronger than you know. Okay. Oh, look at that. Be true to you. Be true to you. Find your truth. Um, I, I feel like there is an evaluation going on. Something forced you, not forced you like, you know, like that, but something prompted you to really take a look at something. Um, to take a look at where you've been, where you're going. Um, what does your foundation look like? Now, for some of you, this can be... I know we have the soulmates card here. It's a general reading. So I might be picking up, picking up on a few groups of people. We have building blocks, which I mentioned can be about money and foundation. We have new career here. So for some of you, maybe the catalyst ended up being, you know, uh, the grind. You know, a job that you've been doing forever or a, the type of work you've been doing forever. And it just doesn't work for you anymore. And you decided... I'm going to do something else. And maybe, you know, maybe as you walk your spiritual path, your journey, you realize that there's something else that really speaks to you and you're being inspired to do something completely different. Something that makes you happy, something that takes you off the hamster wheel and you're motivated. The soulmate energy can be someone who is in your life to guide you and support you. Um, soulmates come in all forms. This could be a boss who was a catalyst. Um, yeah, th this can really go many different ways. So let's take a look at what you can expect. Tell us more about the energies around Sagittarius in September spirit. What else? What else can Sagittarius expect in the month of September? Anything else? Woo! Okay, bottom of the deck, the universe has a plan. So there is a reminder here that some things happen for a reason, some things are, um, you know, not in our control. This is a, this is an interesting mixed bag here. <laughs> okay. So first we have reliving the past. Release. I'm going to stack them. There's a lot. We have, I'm sorry. Maybe sorry, not sorry. I don't know. We'll see where that goes. Intimacy. Storm brewing. Embrace change. Fresh start. Wow. Yeah, you're planning your future, all right. You're looking at the past, reflecting on things, releasing that which, you know, maybe you want to leave behind. And that can be a lot of different things for a lot of you. But, you know, this, this is really about change. This is that pivot point. Storm brewing doesn't have to be, like, bad. And, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a big tower moment either. It can be an epiphany. This is really about... Um, I'm doing me. I'm 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 finding my truth. I know what I want. This this storm brewing could be the motivation to uh, make something happen really quickly. This could be that catalyst. Maybe something happened between you and another person, and now you know 
if this is work related, intimacy might be, um, you know, you've gotten to know yourself a little better and you're ready for something that is, you know, more in alignment with, with your soul's purpose. Be true to you. Okay. Wow. So let's take a look at this. Now, um, I'm not dismissing the fact that, you know, intimacy could literally be um, a closeness between you and another. So for some of you, if the cards support it, you know, this, this can be about uh, a connection with someone that you are either rebuilding or building upon, maybe having a new start with someone. Okay, so let's take a look at um, how this will unfold for you, Sagittarius. What else? How will this unfold for Sagittarius? I feel one more shuffle might yield another card. Okay, a couple more. Bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords energy. That can be past hurt and heartbreak. We have the Five of Cups that landed on its side. So I, let's just say, um, this is wanting to let go of, you know, past hurt and disappointment. Um, let's see what else we've got here. We have the Knight of Wands reversed. I don't know if that's impulsive. <laughs> you know, it, it, listen, it, it, for some of you, if, if the storm brewing is acting, you know, impulsively or, um, or there's some sort of, you know, oh, I don't know, just this, this, it, it's almost like a, a desire to like break out of this rut or something. Um, that could be that. Uh, we have other people interfering or causing conflict here. The five of wands, two fives. Um, then we have the seven of cups, making choices and decisions. Being methodical about it though, perhaps the Knight of Pentacles energy is a slow energy. So I, I do feel like, you know, maybe you've been, you've been working through some of this confusion and chaos with other people. Um, and then we have the Nine of Cups. This is finding your happiness. What fulfills you? I feel like you're on the, the way to that after having been through some of this confusion and upheaval. Page of Cups. This could be news, apologies, conversation of an apologetic nature. Maybe someone expressing something to you or you them. I mean, we do have apology here. So, you know, maybe this is the need to apologize to other people if, if um, you know, a situation went kind of sideways. You know, there, there might have been some, you know, flippant remarks or behaviors that really caused, you know, disappointment, confusion. The only reference I see to this, the waiting, the arrival, the waiting that I was getting during my meditation is this Knight of Pentacles. That's a, it's a slow moving energy. It's, it's kind of slow, steady and methodical. Something may be coming to you that you're expecting, and that might be this. And maybe what you're expecting is just, you know, things to unfold in a way that, you know, brings um, happiness that allows you to settle things with other people. Okay, wow. Let's get a couple clarifiers. What's the Seven of Cups energy? Why is that here? Okay. okay, we have the Four of Wands and it came out kind of sideways. Um, I don't know, not happy at home? not, um, you know, not finding much to celebrate about or, or there's been some confusion around home, perhaps. It's kind of interesting. Let's, let's get another one. Seven of Cups, Four of Wands. Oh, too many. Well, here's the tower. That might be the storm brewing. Clarify the tower. We have the Fool and the Star. 
Now, if this is about confusion around, um, let me back up. This may be options, not necessarily confusion, but needing to make decisions about things may be related to your home. We have the fool and the star also, which is about a new beginning. I mean, that is really the fresh start here, healing from something, um, coming out on top, maybe being recognized. Bottom of the deck, we have the seven of swords. So, you know, if there was some sort of altercation problem with other people, behavior or something like that, I feel like this is about, you know, a realization of that, leaving that behind, healing from that, starting again. Okay, interesting. Let's look at the other people. Let's look at five of wands. Truth and clarity. It can also be an energy of cutting something out. You know, maybe that's the hey, hey, goodbye. <laughs> Whoops, I just dropped that. Um, I don't know. Where, oh, that was at the bottom of the deck. It was the Page of Cups. Okay, so let's look at the Knight of Pentacles. What is this slow moving energy? I feel like truth needs to be spoken no matter what. What else? Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting energy. We have the Devil and the Ace of Wands. In comes passion or intimacy. This feels like a, a strong attraction. This feels like, um, you know, passion igniting. A strong, strong soul connection perhaps. Something maybe that has taken a while. You know, maybe this energy is more around, um, you know, your, your person. If they've been through a situation that was, it, it, this almost feels murky. It feels, it feels like it was a disappointment. It was, it went sideways perhaps a, a while ago and other people are sticking their nose in, you know, your business, your person's business. I feel like this is about leaving all of that mess behind. You know, this, like, bye. So let's look at the Page of Cups, because I feel like this is an apology. Clarify the Page of Cups. Page of Cups. <laughs> okay, I've got one in my lap. One here, one here. Jeez Louise. Okay. Uh, it's a lot, but okay, that's fine. I'll take them. So we have the Knight of Swords, and I'm getting anger with this. So I feel like the apology is for something that was uh, wrong, inappropriate. Um, we have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Wands, the Sun, Death, and the Queen of Swords reversed. Wow. Um, if there was dishonesty about something, something came to light. And, you know, it could be that it was dishonesty about other people doesn't have to be another lover. Um, could be. It's going to differ for everybody. I feel like this, something's been maybe held over someone's head or, or something has been difficult to work through. You may not have known much about this. Um, maybe, wow, this is, that's why I don't like taking that many cards because sometimes it convolutes the message. But let's just say something went sideways, it's ending, and it's coming to light. And I feel like, you know, it, it lifts the burden. So that was probably kind of specific for somebody. Okay. So what else does Sagittarius need to know about how this will unfold? Too many. Too many. Let's try that again. What else does Sagittarius need to know about this spread, please? 
Anything else? Whoa. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands reversed. Yes, putting down the burden. I feel like it's releasing. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, then we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Devil again, and the Two of Cups. If, if the burden being released is around an unhealthy soulmate situation, I mean, we do, we do have, you know, Queen of Swords, death, Ten of Pentacles here. I, I feel like this is, you know, if I were to give this card a name, it would be, I'm just going to do me. Um, so whoever is speaking that, you know, be true to you. I just want to do me. I don't want to be in this kind of an unhealthy dynamic. I'm putting down that burden and I want to, I want to begin again. That song actually sounds like it applies. If it, if it's a relationship that's, you know, being left behind or an unhealthy dynamic. Wow. Okay. I could clarify for days, but I'm not going to. Let's get you some. Um, yeah, I, I will pull a romance angel. For those who resonate with this on a romantic level, let's take a look at that. That wants to come out. Okay. release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So yeah, if this is a, a ex can be anything, you know, if there's the need to release uh, something from your energy, that's totally coming through here. This is about releasing toxicity, whether it is, a, you know, a work dynamic, a relationship, um, a, a, a relationship with other people who are interfering, who um, are causing confusion or upheaval. Yeah gotta go gotta go love yourself first very soon and this doesn't necessarily mean something about you know people coming together it's um, this is clarity is needed and a decision is needed pretty quickly and and I I, I feel like perhaps you are already there You've maybe been stuck in this five of cups place for a little long and now it's like, okay, now you're, maybe you're starting to get pissed and it's time to go. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Let's get some advice for you from the lighted pathway. Advice for Sagittarius regarding this reading. <coughs> Excuse me. Anything else? Okay, let's see what we've got here. Wanting a break. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, if that does not say it all, yes. The ten of, ten of Wands reverse, yes. Putting down the burden, like, ugh. We have strong connection. Strong connection, healthy connection, mm -hmm. you know, this could be applied to a, 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 a toxic strong connection. This could apply to uh, a new connection if, you know, it's going to be different for, for all of you. Then we have a timing card, which feels very specific, but we have next year. And I like to clarify the timing cards. Clarify next year. What does that signify, please? next year one one more please next year okay wow so if it's going to take until next year um for a cycle to complete that could that could be what i'm seeing here in the meantime it you know it's stressful I'm 
going to get one more from this deck. Clarify next year. <clears throat> we have your intuition is telling you and stick it out. Things will improve. So I, I feel like next year is the opportunity to kind of wrap up this, this cycle, this repetitive cycle and to begin begin anew. Wow. Okay, let's get some guidance for you, Sagittarius. Final guidance for Sagittarius, please, regarding this reading. Anything else? Sorry, I had a hair tickling me. Okay, we have refocus your energy to attain your goal. Try meditation to center yourself. We do have balancing here. So I feel like other people, confusing situations, hurtful situations, burdensome situations, unhealthy situations have really kind of put somebody in a tailspin. And, and I don't mean it to sound that way, but it's been a catalyst, right? It, it is what is putting you on a new path. And that's the uncomfortable part. The new path is the good thing because it redirects you to live your soul's purpose. Keeping positive thoughts will have an amazing impact on the outcome. Yeah, hang in there. Um, bottom of the deck, this is apropos. You are a giving soul, but be careful of people who deplete you and don't reciprocate. If you're in a, in a, situation with other people where you're just sucked dry um, that you know that may be why you're you're wanting to just do you um, it's it's time for something new it's time for a renewal leaving behind the things that are burdensome Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Sagittarius. I hope this was helpful. Sorry it went so long. I'll see you in October. Bye-bye.